Hello beautiful people. Today I'm going to share with you how I prepare my seasoned vegetable quinoa. I had my ingredients prepared beforehand and I also soaked three cups of quinoa. You can choose to have yours soaked overnight but I had mine soaking for about an hour. Here I have half a large cabbage five celery stalks, roughly chopped, one large honey crisp apple, roughly chopped. My condiments I have prepared, one large yellow onion, five mini sweet peppers, five stalks of scallion, three sprigs of thyme, five cloves of garlic. I also have Mrs. Dash, ground turmeric, and garam masala. In a pot, I'll be heating three tablespoons of coconut oil. Since it's a bit cold, the oil is hard, so we have to stir until it's melted. To the melted oil, I'll be adding two teaspoons ground turmeric. Stir to heat. Oh, that rich yellow color. Two teaspoons garam masala. I love to use garam masala. It has all the good spices in there. Three tablespoons, Mrs. Dash. Ensure everything is mixed in well. All the flavors are nicely blended. Don't forget the salt. Here I'll be adding one teaspoon of salt or salt to taste. Don't do it, just one teaspoon. My quinoa that I had soaked and drained, I'm gonna add to this mixture. Three cups soaked quinoa. Just get it all in. No grains left behind. All of it. Yes, now we're gonna stir and ensure everything is evenly incorporated. 
you see how this quinoa is turning yellow means everything is mixed in Now we're adding our water, two and a half cups of water, or just enough to ensure the quinoa is covered. Just enough to cover the quinoa. It cooks pretty much like rice, so we don't want it soggy, just fluffy. We're gonna cover and cook for about 20 minutes. Quinoa is almost done. We're gonna cover and continue cooking until the water is dried out. Fluff up a bit. Now that our quinoa is done, we're gonna set this aside and prepare our vegetables. In a pot, we'll be adding three tablespoons coconut oil, ensure that oil is melted, Time for condiments. First, we'll put in our garlic, five cloves of garlic. We're gonna stir our garlic just to make sure it's nicely cooked. All the oils, re oils released, but not burnt. Then we'll add our onion, one large onion. I look, I like to put my condiments in in this order, garlic, then onion. Stir until it's translucent, almost like you can see through it or the glassy appearance. Then we're just gonna dump in our sweet peppers. All that beautiful color. Ensure everything is mixed in nicely. Dump in our honey crisp apple. Give it a wonderful touch of sweetness. Then we'll put in our celery stalks, five celery stalks. I love that color. It is said that the more colorful your dish, the more nutritious it is. What do you think?
make a comment below. Now that we have done our hard vegetables, we're adding one teaspoon of salt or salt to taste. Two teaspoons ground turmeric. Two teaspoons garam masala. And three tablespoons Mrs. Dash. Ah, the aromas. Stir for about two minutes. And then we're adding half a large cabbage. We had our cabbage put in last, so that's it. It's not soggy, still crispy or firm. Continue stirring so the moisture can be released into the pot. We just want our vegetable lightly caramelized, not burnt. Just enough to have all the flavors blended. We're going to cover this and cook for about two minutes. Continue stirring. You'll see that moisture released at the bottom of the pot. That's good because that's what's going to blend with our quinoa to make it oh so flavorful. Now we're adding our quinoa that was set aside. Get everything dumped into the pot. No grains left behind. Lift and fluff to make sure everything is mixed in evenly. Look at that lovely color. I can just imagine the flavor. Then we're adding our thyme. Try to get all those thyme leaves off. Nothing wrong if a stem or two gets dropped in the pot. It's all good. Just adds to the flavor. And then lastly, we're adding our scallion. I like to add in my thyme and my scallion at the end of all my dishes because it just adds a nice, fragrant flavor. After we've covered for about two minutes, we go ahead and 
fluff it up some more. Ah, look at that steam. This dish can be served by itself or you can choose to put it with a choice of meat or sauces, whatever you prefer. It's a one pot dish and I like to have it by itself. Enjoy! Don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe.